Well guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you know, if you looked at the thumbnail, you'll know that uh, what this little product's about. We're going to be turning this little bad boy into more of a Viking style carving axe. Um, I've had this for a little while. I don't really use it all that much. Uh, it is a great little axe. Um, it is a uh, Swedish steel, but I can't tell which one of the companies made it. I don't really see any other markings. All it says is see if I can get you guys in here Sweden one and a half so first things first we're gonna remove the handle uh, I'm gonna really carefully try to remove the handle because actually I want to reuse this handle I'm gonna do something a little bit different with this uh, but I do want to use this it, it is a nice piece of hickory so might as well reuse it um, so yeah let's get started with the build let's try to get this out and then we'll draw out our pattern and we're gonna start grinding All right, so all I'm gonna be using is just my, my angle grinder to cut this out, but basically I don't wanna to have to reheat tr treat this. Um, so I don't want this to get too hot. Now, down here, you'll see I got a big bucket of water. So periodically I'm gonna be taking this, dipping in the water uh, to cool it off. Basically, this back section, I'm not too, too worried about it getting too, too hot, but the, the main thing is if it gets too hot in here, you're gonna lose the temper. Uh, for your cutting edge and we don't want to do that uh, Now you we are going to be losing a little bit of mass, but you know what like I said, I want this to be more of a carving carving hatchet and I uh, Don't really use this anyways because I always bring my transfers out to the bush with me. So Anyways, let's get started Most of that mass is now taken out. The rest of that I can just clean it right up on the grinder. So let's get onto the grinder and get uh, some nice profile on this. All right, so I got a coarse grind on here to start. Um, I mean, a, a coarse sandpaper here to start. It's 60 grit, just so I can get rid of some some of this material pretty fast. And remember, I'm going to keep this co cool as cool as I can. There we go. Pretty happy with that design. Looks pretty sweet. So now I'm just going to do is I'm going to clean up all the 
rough edges I kind of hammered on here before with the frame and hammer and then we're gonna get this all polished up I'm gonna put a nice uh, convex edge I might even I might even take this down a little bit thinner and then we're just gonna polish this right up it's gonna look real really real sweet well there she is after I've cleaned her up Said I left a tiny bit of character. You know, even if there's a little bit of red left over in the really deep cuts afterwards, I'm gonna leave that there. I think that looks kind of neat. Even if the red stays right here in the Sweden, that'd be pretty sweet too. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna go to finer and finer grits until uh, she's polished up a lot more. And then we're gonna give it a really, really nice edge. So that's with uh, 320. So I might hit it with 500. I'm not sure yet. I think it looks pretty sweet just the way it is. Uh, we might get it polished straight up. Who knows? So let's start working on uh, the handle. So here I'm just gonna give it a little, just a little weird cut here, or like a diagonal cut here on the, on the, on the butt, just to, just to make it look a little different. All right, so I got this profiled. I built myself a nice little wedge. Um, so I'm just gonna get this uh, handle put on. So what I usually do, um, I mean there's a bunch of different ways you can do this, but this is what I find that works for me anyways. Take some boiled linseed oil, and then I'll coat it. Just pour a little bit inside. Then I'll take my wedge and I'll do the same thing. So I'll coat in linseed oil. All right. So a lot of times you're just supposed to tap it on, but I'm just gonna take this and help guide it on nice and tight, just like so. Take my wedge. Go. There we go. This is nice and tight. And then take some more of that linseed oil and just make, just coat it nicely right here. That should seal it nicely. There we go. So it's sealed up. Now I'm just gonna finish working um, the handle.
Time to give it a quick little sharpen, and then we're gonna finish sanding up the handle and uh, sealing it. So finishing touches gonna be trusty old I really like boiled linseed oil um you know the thing is I have a big bottle of it too so but it's so easy to use does such a nice job and uh, so got the linseed oil on here I put about three coats on here uh, so I'm really, really happy with this build. Now, uh, before I go, we're obviously going to test this thing out. Said she is razor sharp. Like, I, I can shave with this thing. So, no better place to start than my first bow. Um, so, this is going to be a, what we call a board bow. Now, I'm probably not going to do a full build on this video. I will probably show you guys the tilling process I go through. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, one of the reasons why I built this was, was for this exact reason. So this is red oak. So it's a nice hard wood. Oh yeah. I mean, I do have a draw knife, but I really wanted to build this with a hatchet and my knife. Uh, because this summer, I definitely want to be able to just go out to the bush and, uh, build a bow from scratch so I gotta build it I've gotta build up these muscles so so there we go like I said this thing works awesome so I'm really really happy with this build uh, put down in the comments what you guys thought about this if you guys like this kind of content um, I thought it was pretty neat but anyways don't forget to hit that like if you like this and we'll catch you guys in the next one all right